All right, welcome back. It is still the run up and uh, we're having a very talented young man with us this morning. He is a musical artist. He also creates content, does many things. You know, these talented people, you don't know where to catch them from. <laughs> <laughs> and with us this morning is Color Boy. Hi, Color Boy. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, uh, your name is Cola Boy, and when I was when I heard about you the first time, I was like, "Does he chew cola a lot, or what?" <laughs> <laughs> so, why did you decide to to use the name Cola Boy as your stage name, as it were? Yeah, I've gotten questions like that a lot. Um, when I was um, starting my career independently, one of the first songs I recorded back then was like to Oji. I Meanwhile, cola, cola nuts, cola from the word cola nut. Mm -hmm. So, um, cola nut means orgy in Igbo language. Oh. So, I thought the first job was cola was orgy, which means cola nut. And then, um, cola nut represents um, something great in where, I'm, where I come from, the East. Um, there is literally no meeting without a cola nut. So, there, there's a saying, he who brings cola brings life. Mm. So after I recorded that song, I found out that people started calling me Cola Boy. And I wasn't bearing the name Cola Boy then. I was bearing the name Onyx. But somehow, some way people started calling me Cola Boy. And then at the point, I just had to switch. So and I, I, I got a real meaning from the word Cola, from the Cola Nuts uh, meaning. <laughs> it actually made so much sense to go with the name Cola Boy, yeah. All right, uh, let's talk about the recent tour that you went for uh, at the East. You had just come back from Enugu, and of course, you have a, a very recent body of work. Your EP had just dropped, and uh, unfortunately, I couldn't be there for the listening party, but just tell us about it, you the missed. listening party and the EP. Okay, um, the listening party was held last uh, that should be last two weeks in Enugu State. Um, the title of the EP is Cola from the East. Um, five songs uh, featuring Flavor, Annie Dons, um, MCR, and Oja Delibu. Um, the idea of the EP was actually to create something that kind of bridges, in, uh, that bridges the gap between um, the old ancestral sound and the modern sound. Hmm. You know, um, just like the song of Malich and the one that was dropped before the EP, I found out that um, even the song was able to cut across both the old and the new, so everybody will, could relate to the song. It's not just like it was um, made, meant or made for just the older generation, but it was made just for the new generation. So what my brand actually is trying to do is to kind of um, bring that um, ancestral sound and then um, more like a fusion of the ancestral sound and the, the new modern sound, yeah. Okay, uh, Kola, we like a situation in uh, Plus TV uh, where we bring people that are not that, the Nigerian parlance says blown, you know, you mm. never blow like that. <laughs> but we like to discover talents and sell the talents to the yeah. world. But the world that we want you to be a part of will have to make very informed choices in the political space and we're wondering with the influence that you're beginning to gather you know when you're collaborating with flavor and the rest of the big names it means that you're somewhere there mm -hmm. um, we're wondering how much of this influence you're also using to educate people of your ilk people of your uh, type people of your kind of um, uh, profession and all that to get involved in uh, electioneering in politics and making sure especially that the defining year of 2023 is what we want it to be to take Nigeria to El Dorado. So how much involved are you in the politics of Nigeria? I would say I'm um, like um, from my own end I've been doing everything I could you know to uh, sensitize people about um, um, how important it is to get involved in you know exercising their rights as uh, citizens of nigeria the ones that are of age um we've made um we've been involved in activities a whole lot of them um trying to sensitize people to get their pvcs and everything to get ready for voting because uh, we can't just keep complaining every time with the youths 
we have to be fully involved and um i've done a couple of things too you know i when uh, during the um, when the registration was going on i had to go down to a lot of locations you know because i feel um when you are an influential person people tend to like um, um it's kind of for every move or every activity you get involved in i kind of influences a lot of people to come to you mm -hmm. so i had to go even though i had registered before i still had to make some moves and go to, to just let people know that okay this is the right thing for us to do and uh, i i would keep doing such too yeah i'll keep doing such yeah yeah uh, but you know 2023 is coming uh I'm just wondering, if you were to select a president, what kind of qualities would you want in a president as a person now? Um, first of all, I think um, someone... Um, we, we first of all, we need a younger right? We need a younger person, and then we need someone that has a different ideology and a perspective of the whole thing about governance because mm -hmm. what we've had so far um <laughs> we've had um people that had this uh tribal mentality mm. and uh, we've have, we have had people that um i think we've had selfless leaders to be sincere we need someone that understands the fact that what we need now is just to rebuild a country that is almost gone and not someone that is self-centered not someone that wants what because that's the word we always hear everybody wants to go there to get a national cake and that's not the kind of person we need there right now we need someone that understands that understand the mess that the country is in right now someone that actually understands that this is beyond religion this is beyond tribalism this is beyond ethnicity this is um i don't know you understand what i mean though I'm not yeah. a politician, I know the right terminologies and what to do, but just someone that is selfless. All yeah. right. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Color Boy. Uh, over time, yeah. you've proven that you're very uh, a very traditional person, and we see how you infuse that in your music. It's a very beautiful thing, actually, for a young man uh, in your age bracket to understand the place of culture. And it's also beautiful to know that you're very interested in the political end of things. Also, you're not just in the entertainment sector. You're using your influence to be a part of politics and governance that is a very beautiful thing thank you so much color boy for coming on the run-up this morning and we have your video on malicha that will be coming up uh, very soon uh, we hope that you continue the great work that you're doing thank you very much i appreciate it. well ladies and gentlemen you are watching us right now and uh, before the news you saw uh, the lofty things that a young lady was doing grace and there was doing something with the young ones in ajegunle and hopes to replicate all this in all the local governments of lagos state and possibly the entire nigeria you too can do something no matter how young you are mm -hmm. kola is doing it grace is doing it what are you doing well as we wrap up i hope that tomorrow that you are going to be a part of the program again. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. And as we round up with Omali Cha video, my name is Uche Chuku Onodu. Do have yourself a wonderful day ahead.